Hello everybody, Worm Racer 8 here, bringing you another jQuery tutorial. In this lesson I'm going to show you how we can build a horizontal accordion that works in all the major browsers, no problems. And what we've got here is, is these three images are, are actually H3 tags and we're going to use a, a background image for the title to these content panels. So here it is in IE8. Uh, here it is in Firefox and Google Chrome. And it works fine. I've looked at it in a couple other browsers too. No problems. It works in all of them. No issues. Uh, I've put together a nice source package for you that I'll put in the video description. Uh, you can download uh, this entire thing. It's got the style sheet, uh, the jQuery and HTML and you can take a look at it and see how uh, I've accomplished some of this with the CSS what I'm going to really show you is how the jQuery interacts with the DOM to get these panels to slide open and close so let's jump in here take a look uh, of course you're going to need the jQuery library um, this is the only file that's not included in the source package because I'm not using the local file I'm using a, a hosted version so if you don't have it just head up you can either use this need an internet connection if not head over to jquery.com download the 1.4.2 put it in a folder and reference it here in the script tag and you'll be good to go so what we have here is a wrapper div that's going to enclose these three h tags along with their content panels so um <clears throat> let's uh let's jump over here to the jQuery and I'll show you how we're doing this. So we've got one function that uh, I've called accordion and it accepts one argument or one parameter that I've named rate. And we're going to pass this parameter to this function when we call it down here in the document.ready function. This parameter is going to be the rate or the speed uh, how the panels slide open and close so the first thing we gotta do is set up a couple variables here actually several since couples two we got three <laughs> um, the first one's gonna be a variable I've named tab which is gonna be gonna figure that out it's gonna be these these tabs the H3 elements All right. so the tab is going to be equal to telling jQuery go and find the div named wrapper and then in that find all the h3 elements and grab them up so tab is going to house all these h3 elements over here one two and three of them right so then visible is going to be a temporary variable uh, initially because we're going to change it down here Anyway, visible is going to be equal to, uh, we're going to say, the H3 element, because that's what tab is, go to the next element, which is going to be, these These are going to be the content panels, these divs, these divs after each one of the H3s. These are going to be the content panels, and that's what we're going to tell uh, jQuery to do, is go to the H3s, and then go to the next element, and then filter all those elements except for the last one right and then width is a variable that's going to grab the um, width of the open panel right here it's going to grab this width of this div and store it in that variable so then we've got to initialize the display so that only one of these panels is open initially and that's what this line of code here is going to do. We're going to say the H3, because that's what tab is, go to the next element, which are going to be those content divs. And then we're going to use the inverse filter uh, that we used here in the visible variable to filter all of them that are not the last one. So go to the, go to the divs underneath all of the H3s, and filter all of them except for the last one 
And when you grab those other two that aren't the last one, change the CSS properties to a display of none and a width of zero. And that's how we get, get it initialized so that it looks like this, so that only one of the panels is open initially. And you can change this up. You can use, uh, if you want the first one open, then we would change this uh, filter here on line 11 to first. And then we would say here, filter all of them that aren't the first one. And then the default uh, look would be like this. It would be sitting there open like this. But I liked it better this way, so we're going to go with this. All right. And so then the next thing we've got to do is we've got to attach some click handlers to the H3s. Uh, because that's, and, and then we're going to set up a conditional statement here that tests which H3 was clicked and uh, we're either going to not do anything or we're going to animate some panels. So we're going to say uh, the H3 that is clicked, all right, if the visible panel, which is going to be, uh, or the current open panel, uh, if the current open panel dot previous, so this is just like next, except instead of going forward to the next element, we're going to go back. So, you know, the first time through, it's going to be this last one. So if the, if this panel, the, the current visible panel, dot previous, which is going to be this H3 tag, and then what we got, we got to grab that tag. So this right here is actually the shorthand version of the uh, get method. So, and then you pass the index uh, to it. So you can do it like this or the, or the shorthand method, which is what I'm using, uh, index of zero. So if the current panel back to the, the previous H3, and we're going to grab that H3, is equal to this, which is the H3 that was clicked, then don't do anything. Just return. And so that's how we get it to not do anything when the panel's already open. Because if we don't put this in here, let me just show you. Let's see, file save. Let's go in here and check it out. Refresh. It's going to do that every time you click it, even if it's open. And we don't want that. So let's put this back in. Zero. So. If the H3 that is clicked is equal to this H3, then don't do anything. But if it's not, then we're going to animate these panels. And what we're going to do is we're going to say the current panel, we're going to animate it by taking its width to zero. And then the speed at which that's going to happen is going to be this, this argument that we passed into here, which in this case, I've set it to 350 milliseconds. So animate the panel, take the width to zero at... 350 millisecond rate. And then we're going to change the value that's stored in this uh, visible variable by saying that this, the H3 that was clicked this time, dot next, which is going to be, let's say we clicked on this H3, the first one. So the next is going to be this content panel right here, line 15. We're going to animate it and make its width the width that was stored in this original variable here at the same rate, 350 milliseconds. And that's it. That's all the code. Now, one thing to note, this will only work for panels of the same size because the width variable is always the same. So it, it, should, it, it won't work if you've got all these panels are different size. But this is a per, you know, for this, uh, it works good for this example. So then that's the code, and then all you got to do is the document.ready function. We're going to call the function, and we're going to pass to it uh, this, this 350, which is the milliseconds, which is the rate right here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, I'll put the source uh, download in the uh, video description. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy.